Well, today that we're filming this, Twitter has gone public. And in the first couple of hours that <laughs> it's listed on the stock exchange, it doubled in price. <laughs> Do you think you made any of that money? No, because you're not an inside guy, right? Or person or woman or whatever. Yeah, it's the insiders made all that. You know, how do you get to be that? Well, things are changing in the future. You know, you'll be in on the inside because that's going to open up now to everybody through crowdfunding and the Jobs Act. We talked about this before. This is a law that Obama passed about two years ago. It's finally coming into fruition. And, and the, the laws finally came out of the Securities Exchange Commission. So next year, it looks like it's going to be that. And not only will you be able to take companies public for very little money, but you can invest in public companies like that or initial public offerings, IPOs. That's what Twitter was about, but only inside fat cats were involved. Now it's going to be on the web and anybody with a few bucks in their pocket can be part of it. You know, and there's going to be websites popping up to help you do that and help you evaluate it. And see what's neat about this is that you'll be able to find out what, where the rich folks who spend all their time worrying about this stuff, where they think the money is because it's public information who's investing in what. And so if you even with a hundred bucks could invest in the same, in the same place that somebody with a billion dollars is, and you'll know there'll be data <laughs> on the website to do this. So it's a neat thing that's happening for investors and really as an entrepreneur to raise money instead of costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees, it'll probably cost you a few hundred or something if you're, if it's that much. So watch this interview and you know, get in touch with this kind of stuff because we're just months away from this all happening. And I really think it's going to change. I mean, it's changing over in Europe. They're using a lot of these kind of tools already. We're just getting a little behind the eight ball trying to <laughs> figure out if the government should work at all, let alone, you know, regulate something. So watch this. Well, Mr. Scott Hilton of TrueCrowd.com, <laughs> and you're going to change the world to make the average, like, small entrepreneur or little investor really take advantage of all the hot new, you know, investments in the country, right? So when's this going to happen? Uh, that's right, Matthew. I mean, we're hoping to, you know, to get this going as soon as possible. We're just waiting on the SEC to finish some rules and. Uh... We're finishing up the platform and then we'll get it going. So very excited about the opportunity for, for everybody on both sides of the, of the issue. Well, when people don't realize, I mean, they're watching this, that you know, like a year and a half ago, I mean, Obama passed this Jobs Act, you know, they're trying to create jobs in this country and they put a little thing in there that said, hey, we're gonna now make it, people be able to go on the internet and invest in real small companies and don't have to, and the little companies don't have to fool with the SEC and spending all kind of legal paperwork to get funding money and, and you or me or anybody off the street can now get an investment like the next Facebook and not having to join some country club, right? That's right. I mean, thank, thank goodness they, you know, Congress threw that in there and uh, Obama signed the changes. It's, it's, it's really going to open up an amazing new capital stream for, for business startups, you know, for, start, you know, it's going to create new jobs in the end. That's why they called it the Jobs Act, right? And it really is, you know, right now, small business startups, they have to jump through a million regulatory hoops. Um, it's very costly for them to, to go through all the, the registration with the SEC and all th that type of thing. And, you know, it's going to open up a, a lot of opportunities for them to get capital. And then on the other side, you know, only you know, big accredited investors have been able to Fat cats with the cigars. <laughs> Only the one percenters have been able to, you know, get involved in the Facebooks and the Twitters, you know, those huge, huge, huge opportunities where they're just earning vast amounts of returns. You know, only they only they've been able to do it so far. But now uh, with these changes coming down the pipe, uh, everybody will have a chance. So if I was a small business and looking to like now and, and wanted to you know, go public or sort of public or whatever and raise money that way, it'll cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to get all that paperwork at the SEC to do it. And when you come on board, it's going to cost me maybe a couple hundred bucks to, <laughs> you know, to do it. That's it, huh? You know, we're still waiting on the final rules on how all yeah. that's going to play out. I mean, there's definitely going to be some SEC involvement and some disclosure that the companies are going to have to do, but compared to what the current environment is, it's going to be much, much simpler and, and, and less costly for sure. 
Now, it, it sounds like it's going to explode in this country. And, but now, right now, the rules are being worked at on the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, you know, one of those bureaucrats in Washington. And then they're going to announce these rules, and then people have to comment on them before they go into stone, and you guys go off to the races, right? That's right. We're just waiting on them. I mean, we, you know, we have the, um, the overall cloud view of what's going to happen but the details are still coming down the pipe you know you know we're, we're trying to set it up where you know we we're, we want to do our own due diligence and make sure that it, that we don't do the least amount possible we may we may do a little more than the sec requires you know and we're probably going to set it up to where you know worst case scenario type thing and then if we can back off of that we will so then your platform will be a place like I'm an average investor now and I don't have to be a fat cat, a registered investor, which means like I have to have a million bucks or something like that. So I could be an average investor making 50 grand or something like that. Come to your site and find the next Facebook and get a piece of that. Absolutely. That's what's so exciting about it. I mean, uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, if, and you know, all you have to do is, is have a little bit of extra discretionary income. I mean, right. obviously the smaller investors aren't gonna have as much money to invest and they're gonna be much more careful with the amount that they do have. Um, but if you just have, you know, a thousand dollars you wanna put in, you can put it in. And, yeah. it, and and if you get it, in, if you happen to, to hit the next Facebook, that thousand dollars would turn into a vast amount of money. So <laughs> you won't be working anymore. <laughs> but more importantly, I think that this it's like getting the lottery, right? It, and, and that's what it is in a way. But it, it's better than lottery to me because it, it's doing something important. You're creating a job. You're creating a business. You're you know, uh, and you could invest in something that you really believe in. And you can also see who else is investing. So if that fat cat who spends a lifetime studying this stuff, you know what they bought. <laughs> and you can just hook on their tape, coattails if you want. Yeah. That's right. I mean, that, that's one of the opportunities. You know, what's going to be unique about our platform is, is we're going to get social media involved in a, in a, in a very extensive way. Um, you know, it's called crowdfunding for a reason. I mean, the crowd... You know, it's, it's who we're going to, to get involved, not just, you know, we're not going to really, you know, obviously the individual investors have to do their thing, but they can rely on what everybody else is doing. They will be able to communicate through social media with other investors. They will have, we'll have statistics on this website about uh, specific offerings, uh, the interest that offering is getting, how many, how much money has been pledged for that offering, uh, who has pledged. You know, wow. we want to be able to literally, you know, they'll be able to connect with any of the investors that are that are following an offering and and get all the information they need about what the crowd is doing. And they can follow the wisdom of the crowd to kind of you don't even really have to be that sophisticated to, you know, to know how to read an income statement or a balance sheet necessarily. Uh, if you want, you can be involved and just, you know, follow the wisdom of the crowd, as they say. Right. And, and just not miss anything. So, I mean, that's why I see as an entrepreneur or as an investor, I mean, a year from now, this uh, it's going to be a whole new wonderful ball game, but a, a new game for the little guy. That's what it's all about, it seems. And it's going to unlock all that potential and capital and everything for the rest of us to take advantage of stuff that only happened in country clubs and back rooms and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many times, I don't know how many times I've thought in my life, you know, you hear about IPOs coming out, yeah. that type of thing, you know, you know, how do I get involved in an IPO? How do I get yeah. involved? You know, you can't. You can't, you know, right. <laughs> uh, only the big guys get it. And, and this is your chance to now do that type of investing yeah. where, you know, it's been, you know, they've been discriminated against for way too long. And, and, you know, there was reasons for it 80 years ago right. why they did that, those rules, but those rules are not relevant anymore. And it's it's exciting that, that everybody's going to have those type of opportunities. Well, that's great. And thank you for doing this and opening it up for the rest of us and, and, and giving us an opportunity to get in on this win or lose. But we want to play. That's the important thing. And 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 now, actually, you could go to uh, truecrowd.com and... and you know, at least, you know, get, start learning about this stuff, right? Because the more you learn, the better you'll be in a year from now. 
Absolutely. I mean, we're we're still very much uh, building the platform right now. Uh, we have a, a temporary website up where you can get on, and, and if you if you're interested, please give us your email address, and uh, we can send you information as we as we go along and get and start putting our phases out and releasing this thing. So, um, we've already got a lot of interest on the the website that we put up, and anybody you know, we are on Facebook and Twitter and things like that as well. So, if you want to follow us on Facebook, please go there. And uh, we can get some information out to you. Great. Well, that's wonderful, Scott. Thanks again for being there. And it is truecrowd.com. And you want to be part of the true crowd. <laughs> this is the true, the true crowdfunding site right. right here. Great. Thank you so much. See, so keep track of this stuff. It's coming. It's a freight train that's coming down the path. It's going to leave without you if you don't start learning about it. <laughs> you don't want to be the last one in America to know about all the neat things that are happening. Be the last one in the 1990s who invested in the internet, right? <laughs> the last one in 2007 who invested in real estate. No. <laughs> Learn fast. <laughs> Learn often. Learn right now.